Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Feed the Beast Crash Landing. I played this yesterday for four hours, four drinks, just to get this guy working. And now that I have him working, I am almost getting enough cobblestone to start making my next goal. So yeah, yesterday, I haven't even edited the videos yet. This is the very next day, in fact. Uh, that was interesting playing uh, for about so long straight i got four hours of sleep as a result i don't know why i again four drinks four hours i i just woke up at like seven in the morning and just decided to wake up take a shower and go from there so it was an interesting day anyways so the now i don't know what i'm doing again i have great ideas when i'm sober on what to do with the with the series but i Keep forgetting. I need to write those down. I'm out of water, ain't I? Yes, I am. Okay. So first things first, let's go get some water. And the longer I talk, the more cobblestone I get. Because what I do want to do is Mountain Dew. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have a lot of the dust here. Let me start shifting. Shift. Sit. I'm, at one point in the series, I will say it right the first time. Let's start shift, sifting that stuff. Uh, let me get some water. Okay, let me turn that into nourishment. Good. Okay, and I have another chest. I have lots of chests everywhere. Ah, I need to make. How do I make a computer in this one? Hold on. Um, I do. I just type computer. I forget what it's actually called. Um, uh, me storage. Here it is. So there's the I.O. port. There's the ME drive. Do I need... I Ah, crap. Yep. Oh, well. At some point, I need to tackle that. I need to start doing a, a numeric craft. So, by the way, I think I might have enough uh, leather to start making... Um, Start making uh, my, uh, where's my book? My glider. I always do this. I always lose my book somewhere. How do I do that? How did I end up here? You may ask yourself. And a water falling. There we go. Okay. So, 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 so. Again, like I do in every video, I think I need to make some goals for this one. Otherwise, I could just aimlessly wander doing nothing. Major goal major major goal and reason why I'm so excited I want to play again I'm enjoying this so I want to play it quickly and back to back so because it's I don't know occasionally with Minecraft these mods you, you you know you play one of these and it just re-sparks what you liked about it initially anyways so what I do want to do is I want to make a mob grinder once I make a mob grinder then I can start getting bone meal and lots of other stuff, including rotten fret flesh, which will become dirt. So I could have an infinite version of all that stuff. Anyways, so what I do, eventually I need to do that one. And I can't get to that one until I do this one. And I still got these. Okay, so uh, salvage. So I do want to do these guys here. I could do the tin. I could, the bag of holding, I don't know. This I probably can't do. Okay, so those. Okay, so again, to reiterate, I'm drinking. Then again, what else is new? Okay, so goal one, grand goal, is I could do it either over here or over there. I have to think about that. But I want to start to make a mob grinder. Again, a mob grinder, you want to make, is it 26 blocks high? I got to check the spawn rate. But again, that's that doesn't matter as much since there's no other place for them to spawn, but still. So... So again, goal one, massive goal, mob grinder. Goal two, the, oh, I can't see what night. Uh, this guy here. Let's finish this up. Just get that out of the way. Then I can move on to the next one, which again leads to, do I want to start to make my way to the city? The next goal is I might want to start maybe possibly to, delve, to tap into this stuff. We'll see. Otherwise... The next goal after the mob grinder is to further out my farm as well as my grassy fields. So I want to make this all grass. 
all flat and then maybe I can move the orchard somewhere so we'll have to see any more eggs oh by the way I did check in and I did get an egg so there is oh was that on the stream of when I recorded rather so there's two chickens now if I get regular seeds I should be able to breed them I don't know if I can get regular seeds let me check that really quick why we sleep because I don't need mobs right now let's see can I get seeds by the way I need food that sound effect is my phone sorry about that very professional how about regular minecraft seeds are they not in here these are it right here I get them from wheat how do I get wheat I get wheat okay that's not helping is there no other way to get them none okay anyways let's do some food oh let me get rid of some of this stuff here what fits in here will go in here okay what doesn't fit will go in here I need to make another chest again I need to get organized that's why I would love to do a Emmy terminal but again I have to go down numeric craft to do that so not something I'm looking forward to if I just pop you down here it's at 80 percent can I make plum no I can't okay 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 so what can I make I am now starving that's at a hundred there you go let's just eat this three times these should be 80 mmm ah excuse me that's me solve uh, curing my own thirst still at a hundred okay so 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 say I anyways so yep I did uh, I need to kill an enderman once I kill an enderman I can get a vacuum hopper once I get a vacuum hopper that makes things a bit simpler by the way how do I make a another thing that's useful that they teach you in Augurian Skies is the auto packer which I can actually make hmm because if this is what I think it is what it does is it automatically crafts things in the chest next to it so here it would automatically make all this stuff which would be useful so I might want to do that that might be, might be another goal I could do right now but you know what I'll wait until I get a ender eye or a, a, a ender pearl because then I can make a vacuum hopper and with that vacuum hopper I can then make a chest which has all that stuff in it then I could have a auto packer pack all the stuff like pickle pick pip peppers and we'll be golden so what to do now what to do now I don't know because I might just have to sit here and wait until that chest is full and then get back to you guys because once that chest is full then I can start on my next project which is again the uh, mob grinder which I'm going to need lava for oh nice I have five buckets worth of lava have one chunk of wood so actually what I can do now especially now that it's day let's actually think about this and start with the basics I don't know how many of you guys have ever built a mob grinder before but the concept usually is one or two things if you have say actually do I have a actually do I have a mob grinder I do or counter mob router Oh, what is it called no there's something in what is, why what is it this is mine factory let's do that there is actually in something in mine factory a harvester that harvests a grinder is this it no that's a block breaker oh that's a different one than I got uh it actually grind here yeah grinder and I'm pretty sure that needs yeah anyways but what this actually does it actually kills anything in front of it not only that I believe it kills it as it treats it as if it was killed by a player a matter of fact also do I have spikes in this mod pack I do so I can make iron spikes which again I also think kills things like if it was killed by a uh, a um, player now why that's important is you don't get certain drops from mobs 
if it's killed by lava, which is what I'm going to have this killed by. So let's see, for right now, why don't I plan it for, let's see, I have my thing right there. So right here is where the, so let's have it right here. Actually right here, it's fine. Again, with pipes, I can move it where I want. So here, I want that to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And then here's one, it's again, the same pattern. So eight, I want this to be where the source block hits. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then, okay. So what I'm doing here is actually, I should do this instead. Is this is gonna be the water. And I gotta remember how to do this. So basically, I'm gonna have the water here. It's gonna move seven blocks, fall down here, move eight blocks, and stop right here. So anything flowing will actually go over that edge and into a hopper or something that I set up. So what I want to happen here is I want to have the lava. So basically, I'm gonna have a giant tower here. All the creatures are gonna fall down into a thing of water which pushes them into a lava trap. The lava trap then has water here, which all condenses into here. So essentially they get stuck here, get burned by lava. They drop everything into the water. The water then takes everything down here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the basics of the very basic mob trap that I ever learned. Mm. Again, I could have the same concept but instead of having them walk into lava, I have them walk into a wall of um, of 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 of, 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 of iron uh, traps, iron spikes. Now the downside with this is this was designed long ago, back when I was five years old. No, back before they had uh, small zombies, baby zombies, because baby zombies will just go into the water and they will actually just run straight into my base. So I need to make this thing somewhat. So the hopper here, I need to encase. So that way the zombies just end up getting stuck here and I can clean out the system every so often because I don't want them running wild in my base. So there's something to think about in the future. But first things first, I need to plan this out a bit more. So let's actually go to Google. I have the world of knowledge on my fingertips, except my phone's about to die. So here we go. Okay, Google. What is the required height for a mob grinder in Minecraft? Tutorial. Okay, that's fine. Is 23 blocks. That's all I need to know. 23 blocks. So I need this to be 23 blocks away from me, and I'll do 23 blocks high here because this is also 16 blocks so that will make it additional. But first, what I need to set up is the lava trap. So that's gonna be what we do now. So actually what I can do here, is that mobs can't jump back and forth, So, but I can. Oh, by the way, let me uh, quickly, quickly being the optimate word, where's my shovel? Uh, I'll put this 18 dirt. And actually, <coughs> once I get the lava and the water somewhat ready, I'll get back to you. Once I get the what I think is the required ingredients. Okay, so I'm back. By the way, normally I'd put signs or ladders here, but ladders actually burn. I don't know if these guys burn. So I thought I'd try these. These are just what randomly got put there. So the idea is, and I think I might be a tile higher than I need to be. Anyways, I need to put lava. And I actually need food quickly. Let me just nom on these apples. I think this is going to be enough. I think it's three tiles. So let me come back to that. Once I get some lava, 
which I can just get right here. Bam. By the way, I made stairs here. So if I put the bucket, say, here. That's exactly it. Now, if that doesn't burn, so what will happen? They get drawn here by water, and they'll bounce up and down into that. Okay, perfect. Let's see how long that lasts. In the meantime, let me get two more buckets. By the way, if I use my clay bucket for lava or for that, it'll actually um, melt the bucket as a result, so I'll lose it. So that's why I'll just take my time and use this guy here. Okay, by the way, I'm getting heat stroke from working with lava, which is to be expected. Then again, if iron should melt as well with lava, so. Okay, let me just take a dip in water here. So, by the way, since I'm here, let me risk my life and limb by doing this. Do I have any food? I can eat rotten flesh, but that's not advice. What I want to do... I don't have here quick 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 because this is always going to be a hazard until I get it come on come on quick 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 I'm mining fatigue that's a problem there we go I got it as you see, that's not lava, it's blazing prilithium. It'll come in handy later for a quest, but for now... Now, the downside with my mining fatigue is I can't actually jump that gap there. So I'll just dig a hole in the wall. And patch it up. There we go. A temporary fix. That'll get me moving a little bit more speedy all right I don't want to do that yet again let's make some food what can I do with mushrooms by the way I can make stew apparently I can make stock that right now is probably the best thing I could do with it because everything else requires a lot more ingredients that I don't have I can do a mixed salad if I have mayonnaise oh so I can do that let's do that then so let's see here if I put this here that there and then have these two here perfect by the way I could also do the same thing with you two yes so that should be two light meals again so that is basically how our oh by the way I should check to make sure that Oh, not full yet. Getting there, though. Because, again, I'm going to need quite a bit of cobble to make the massive structure that I'm thinking about. Actually, let me get some. Again, always important to have some random food around, especially ones you haven't eaten much of. So that way you have emergency source of nutrients. So, yeah, see? comes here. It falls here. So if I were to, say, toss this right here, uh, Q, right there. It'll flow down here. As you see it flowing and drop right there. So I just need to make a little cage here to prevent uh, any tiny uh, zombies from attacking me. So, oh, by the way, boop and boop. So there you go. This seems to be holding, which is a good thing. And again, I'm sweating because I'm working next to lava, which is pretty realistic. So as long as those signs hold, which I don't know what they're made out of, but again, all the wooden stairs or the wooden signs usually burn after a while. So the next thing I want to do is make a water trap here. So that way anything that spawns gets pushed, I thought I saw something out there, into here. So I want it to be... Let's see. Uh, so, hmm, how do I want to do this? One, I want it. So I want to overlap with this water source. Actually, let me pick up this water source because I don't need it there anymore. Because it will be a water source that overlaps into here. So one, two, three. 
Where's my cobble? I don't have enough cobble. Dang it. Well, I do have enough for this, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's eight, but that's gonna be the wall. So that's gonna be how big the room is. Again, this is gonna be a massive building project, but it'll, it'll be worth it if it works. If not, then it's not worth it. Funny how that works. And I am out of water. Okay. By the way, I realize I can take the portable tank with me instead of walking back and forth. But the main thing with this is I don't want any dead areas. So let me take some cobble and just kind of toss it everywhere. Like there. So there's a dead area. So there's two dead areas. So how can I fix that? If I put, say, a piece of water here. That flows over there. Now I have to deal with the corners. Okay, let me do the same thing over here, and then I'll deal with the corners. Again, there's probably a proper way of doing this, but I always tend to do this like this. Actually, what if I... This is, Actually, let me do this smartly. Instead of trying to... up oh, like this. No, no, no. Don't want to get caught in my own trap. Okay. So what if I were to say... Can I remove this wall without any consequences? Okay, I can. So say if I take away that one and that one and say then clog up this area. Let me go to the other side here. Oh, by the way, I'm out of food. What do I have to eat? I need to start working better on food rather than these grandiose projects. Again, basic survival should come first. All right, here comes the fun spot. There we go. Bam, bam. Okay, now how does this affect this? Okay, it doesn't affect that at all. Perfect. Now, if I were to toss stones here, where would they end up? So kind of over here and over here. I need to start making some of the stuff out of glass so I can see what's going on. But where is it heading? All right, if I had this here. Dang it. It's now getting stuck there. That is, how am I supposed to solve this? This is supposed to be the easy part. Now there is one thing I can do, and it might be the easier way to solve this trouble. Let me first uh, uh, fall asleep, and then I'll fix it in the morning. Out in the moonlight. I just like we used to do. I go out walking after midnight, searching for you. Boom, 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 boom. I go out walking after midnight, out in the moonlight. I just like we used to do. I go out walking after midnight, searching for you.